Hello, in today's video I'm going to be unboxing this, the Kings of War Artifact and Spell Cards box. Okay, let's go. Recent boards from Neverboards, I'll put a link in the description below. So let's see what's in the box then. Oh, I must say they are a lot smaller than I was expecting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's not a Ziploc bag. It's open. Oh, there we go. So in here we should have 44 artifacts and 17 spells. Let's have a look. So it's a spell card. And then the artifact card. Uh, okay, I like the artwork on the back there. Just bring that into focus. And we've got this one here, that's the artifact cards. Okay, so yeah, I like how they've got just a little bit of artwork here. Is that focusing? There we go. Gives you the spell, the name. Yeah, that's, not, that's nice. That's a bit of artwork. I do like the black and white artwork, I must say. I was a big fan of Warm Fantasy Battles 6th edition, where it was all black and white and uh, warm of 5000 3rd edition again. Yeah, black and white, I think it's got some sort of charm for me, it's black and white artwork. Can I just bring that in? It's going to focus. No. Looks like they're quite nice. So we have the artifact cards. I must say they're a lot smaller than I expected, but... I think their size might be a benefit because they won't get in the way during a game. So I can just bring on, say, my unit of Mongolians here. Nice regiment of pikemen. And if I give them, say, I don't know, let's say a blade of slashing, I can just put that next to units like so. And it doesn't take up much space. I could even possibly fit in like that if I wish, as a reminder for myself and the pawns that they've got a blade of slashing. Um. So yeah, that's not too bad actually the size. Uh, at first I was a bit apprehensive when I saw that. I thought, oh, that's a bit too small. But no, that, that works. So yeah, again, artworks. Very simple, basic, but nice. One thing I've just noticed on this, it comes complete with Manti points. Brilliant. So add them to collection. Send them off for some goodies for free. Brilliant. So yeah, just looking at the artwork here. Yeah, it's quite nice. There's a lot of cards there. <laughs> so yeah, they're quite handy in the game. Nothing too fancy, just makes the game a bit easier to play, really. I do like that idea of spell cards. Again, nice size. I'm not sure what deck protectors these would need. Um, very small ones, I imagine. I think they're about the same sort of size as the cards that were in the 40k... A Maelstrom of War. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I played 8th edition 40k. But I think that's the sort of size of the world. They're surely a lot smaller than most cards I've seen. Oh, actually, no. They remind me of the cards from uh, X-Wing. The upgrade cards from X-Wing and also from Star Wars uh, Armada, I believe it was. Yeah, that's the same sort of size. So Fantasy Flight Games, they may have what size depth protectors these are. I don't think the Kings of website lists what size depth protectors. I mean, it's a bit pedantic putting depth protectors, but it just makes that they don't get damaged during the game. And you're not going to be shuffling them, but we all know that drinks can be spilled by playing games or hands might be greasy from eating certain foods that are notorious for being eating while playing games. So yeah, that's just a card there, just a little look at them. So I've gone too fast. Ah, uh, there we are. This is one of the best ones, I think. Hammer of Measured Force. In melee, the unit will always damage the enemy on a 4+, plus, regardless of any other modifiers. So, what's that? You've got defense 6. Nah, I'm sorry, hitting you on 4s. <laughs> oh, sorry, not hitting, wounding you on 4s. Fantastic. Scrying Gem. That's, I think that'll redeploy one. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. 
So yeah, and I like how they've got the point cost here in the, in the bottom. So obviously that's for regiments. This is for hordes. But, oh, sorry. Troops and regiments, that's for hordes, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the Kings of War artifacts and spell cards. Handy to have. Okay. Uh, any comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching. Take it easy.